Coach, where do you think uh, when Coach Murphy pulled Temple from the game early in the third quarter? Uh, I mean, I, I don't know. I mean, he's played a lot, the other quarterback, so I wasn't sure if that was just their rotation. I was trying to get him some experience. I really don't know. They, they kind of went a little bit conservative, you know, in that second half, which sometimes, you know, we've had a tendency to do, and I'm sure every coach is trying to bleed the clock down and that little stuff, and sometimes, you know, that blows up in your face. Um, but the other kids played quite a bit, so it didn't seem like there was anything out of the ordinary. If you go back to the other games, he's coming in and out of at least the last three or four games that I've had a chance to watch. So I really didn't think twice about it. Well, what turn was it? Just yeah, I mean, we stop. were just, yeah, just again, we were, you know, <clears throat> that first half, about everything that went wrong, <laughs> you know, that could have gone wrong, went wrong, we were flat. And, we weren't playing hard, we weren't playing physical, we weren't chasing the ball, we weren't finishing blocks. And again, you know, that's very, very uh, unpendulous. And again, we've been behind, but, you know, to have that kind of first half unfold, and at halftime we're trying to get our kids to just take it one play at a time, and, you know, finally we got a little bit of momentum, and, you know, a little bit of physicality back and we finish some plays, we seem to be playing with a lot more juice and confidence. But, you know, it's really hard to come back against that kind of football team that we got far behind. So, we really dug ourselves a very deep hole. Coach, when you put in your freshman quarterback in the fourth quarter, was that um, a conservative play? or? No, no, he's, he's been our gun run quarterback. Our first two quarterbacks are both somewhat injured. So, our starter hurt his knee, well, hurt his ankle last year in this game at our place. And then he has an ankle sprain, so when we want to run the ball out of the quarterback set, we have to put in a third kick because he just functions can't run the ball like he used to. So he was in there, did a nice job, okay, out of our gun run package, and got him a little bit of experience, and we opened it up a little bit and got him a couple of throws, which we haven't done. So I think, you know, that was good to see that he had a couple of completions. But basically, it's our way of, of running some short yardage stuff that we used to do with Billy. You know, that we can block everybody and just have the ball carry there, account for everybody in the box. Coach, can you talk a little bit about the way your players responded in the second half, <coughs> forcing them to punt four or five times in a row, and then? Yeah, you know, it's almost like we flipped a switch. I mean, we couldn't do anything right in the first half, and again, we gave a lot of plays and. They executed great, and then in the second half, we executed great, and they didn't execute great. And again, you know, it's a funny game when these two teams play. <coughs> you know, fortunate for us, our kids never gave up because it had a chance to get pretty ugly there at one point. So I commend our kids, and you know, like I tell everybody, you know, we have the utmost respect for the Harvard athletes and the coaching staff and everything else. So, you know, you got your work cut out for you when you get behind that far. So, you know, we made it interesting, we just couldn't quite finish it. Mike, what happened there from your perspective? Harvard's moved the ball and probably all season in the first half. In fact, it's just what changed for you. Um, well, you know, we, we just got to start making plays. Uh, when they start moving the ball and, you know, offense kind of struggles a little bit and we got to pick them up and so, you know, we all just come together and, you know, try and everyone do, does their job, everyone does, does it physically and, you know, that. When that happens, you know, uh, we fly around and make plays and, and ends up three and outs and turnovers and things like that. <coughs> so I think a similar question to you, Ryan. Um, you guys didn't get anything going in the first half, and then it seemed like you guys were able to move the ball as well. What changed there? Don't know if there was any one specific thing. It's per se. I mean, we just stuck together and we fought. We knew that it was going to be a dog fight in that second half, and we were going to have to crawl our way out. And we just dug deep. Challenged. Everybody was challenged by the coaches to just dig deep, get everything ahead. It's the second last game of the season, just got to do that. Can you walk us through that fourth down completion, the first fourth down on the final drive, that crazy deflection to your receiver's hands? Just what happened there? Um, we saw the underneath guy through to him, I guess, and went through his hands, and then the other guy caught it. And I'm not really sure how much there else is to it. There was one guy open. Like that. We got lucky, but it turned out Anything else, guys? Okay. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you.